Hello everyone, welcome back to the video on my channel, my name is Paul Emma, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the importance of having a good memo book and the importance of taking notes during scenarios as an explorer at competitions, and you'll be surprised how much of an importance it is. Stay tuned. When you're in competitions, uh, they want you to be able to have a memo book and, and write down information. Um, when you get on scene at a scenario site, um, they will usually brief you about the scenario. They will act as your dispatcher and they will tell you everything that they know about the call according to what the caller has told them. Um, again, this is supposed to be as realistic as possible, so the amount of information that you get is going to be very limited. And with that being said, uh, there is a lot of posts that really push for using your memo book and using your note-taking skills to be able to gather as much information as possible and use that in your scenario. Why it's important to take notes uh, for scenarios and just for training purposes, as well as, you know, we'll, what kind of pens do you use to write down all these notes? Now, right here I have three pens that I have used in the past. Um, don't get me wrong, they're all good pens, but there are two of these pens that to me do not make the cut in writing notes and doing paperwork as an explorer or as an officer. Uh, first one you have is your just your plain Bic uh, pen. Uh, you can get a pack of 20 of these for like a dollar. These are really cheap. Uh, these are ink pens, these are not gel pens, so the uh, the reliability of these is not as good. If you work in colder climates, um, the ink will freeze and it will not write. This isn't practical in our Explorer world. And the reason for that is, one, the, um, the pen pocket clip thing, okay, whatever this is called. This is not the best pen to clip onto your, uh, your shirt or your pants or your side pocket things. It's, it will not hold. It just will not be able to hold up in your pen pockets on your uniform. The next pen is also from Bic. Uh, this is a Bic Velocity uh, 1.6. This is a ballpoint pen, as you can see there. I've used this pen before, and it's a good pen. Again, it's ink. Um, it has a little bit of a better pen pocket clip on it, and it has a nice little grip on it so you can write. Um, I'm not really a fan of these because the writing is a little bit sloppy. Um, it's not a straight line. It's usually kind of messy, and I'll show you guys um, what I mean in a minute. Um, but I just don't really like this pen because of that, um, but it is an upgrade from this, definitely. This one is my absolute favorite pen of all time. I will never stop using these for school, for explorers, anything. These are the best pens in the entire world. This is the Pilot G2. This is the bold, uh, so it is the 10 version. Uh, most people will use the 07, which is the fine, but um, uh, the Pilot G2 comes in, in, in different thicknesses. I prefer the bold because it's, I like bold. Um, they come in uh, bold, fine, extra fine, and I think there's one other. But you can pick up a pack of four of these at Walmart for four bucks. And um, they're a little bit more expensive, but they're such an upgrade from your traditional pen. And the main reason why I totally prefer this pen over any other pen is because they have a huge clip on them. So it is very easy to secure them into your pen pockets on your shirt, on your sleeve, um, on your BDU pockets. Uh, it is very secure on your uniform wherever you decide to put it. 
And another plus is these are gel pens, so these will not freeze up in cold weather. And they are very bold, I guess. Uh, they tend to bleed through, um, depending on what you're writing on. Um, so writing tickets and um, uh, sheets of paper that have multiple copies of it, uh, this works very great. Uh, because it will actually write through all these different copies. And that's one of the main reasons why police officers generically love to go with the G2 and gel pens with a bold writing because they will bleed through to the extra copies on the citations, on the forms, and it's just very helpful because you don't have to press really hard to get that through. On to the memo book. Uh, my police department have their own whip out pads, what we call them. Uh, they're a white, traditional, cheap little thing. Um, I actually have some. This is one of them uh, that they have for us. Um, it's just Louisville Police on it. And then it's just your simple whip out pad that is cheap and it works. And on the back we have little phone numbers and stuff. Um, but that's what they issue us as explorers. Uh, I've used them. I've used them the whole time that I've been an explorer with Louisville. They work great, but I just felt like I needed something that is is bigger and it's more sturdy when I write on it. So that's when I went to Walmart and I got this for literally 27 cents. It's a little bit sturdier. You have this cardboard and you have more sheets to write on. So it's, it's, it's a much more sturdier uh, writing surface then save this. And on the back, uh, you can see a paper clip on there. I have added some cheat sheets from my department. Um, back here we have your Miranda warning on this little card. I have a card that has PG1 through marijuana. It's basically um, what the charge is depending on uh, the amount and on the back it has all the drugs associated with the category. And then on here I have my DWI cheat sheet which tells you all the instructions for HGN, walk and turn, and one leg stand. And then on the back it has a little diagram for the, um, uh, the walk and turn and the clues that you can jot down um, and check the boxes if um, you need to remember uh, the clues. Now, in competition, nine times out of ten, they will make sure that you do not have any cheat sheets in your your notepads. They will want you to flip through them to make sure that you don't have any uh, notes written prior to the uh, uh, scenario. And that's usually okay, but I use this solely for um, in meetings when we're doing scenarios as a post. This is good to have, and it's just good to have this extra information to study. Okay, so here we have the uh, pens, and then we have the example writing. I threw in the uh, the Pilot G2 Fine. Uh, this is the 07, uh, just in case you guys were wondering about that. Um, just to show you guys uh, the comparison between the bold and the fine. Uh, as you can see, there's really no difference that I can tell, but... Um, it's practically the same pen, but just a smaller, uh, uh, smaller tip, I guess, to write with. So the uh, the big pen, I had to kind of press hard to get writing. Um, as you can see, it it kind of didn't show up on the initial write. Um, but it's it's a pen, but it is not going to be bold printed. Uh, so it, it's kind of light. Um, so where you can't see it that much. And again, it's a cheap pen that you can get in a pack of 20 for a dollar. So, you know. Uh, then the Big Velocity, it's an upgrade. Um, but uh, still uh, not as good as the Pilot G2s. And then we have the Pilot G2 Bold and then the Fine. You can see a difference between the Bold and the Fine, but just a tiny bit. Um, the main reason why I like the G2s is because one, uh, they're a gel ink pen and uh, they write really, really smooth. The, uh, the big pen, you really have to press down and get it writing, uh, but with the Pilot G2s, you just have to 
kind of guide your pen over whatever you're writing it and it will write. Um, so all in all, the best pen that I think is most beneficial to us explorers when we're taking down notes in a hurry or we have to write through multiple copies of paperwork, the Pilot G2 brand of pen it is going to be the best bet. Um, it's a smooth pen, it's long lasting, and it's, it's relatively more expensive than most pens because you get what you pay for. And I've used uh, these pens for a long time and they've never let me down. So please consider buying Pilot G2s, and it's not the only gel pen out there that will do the job. Um, there are so many more gel pens, but this is the most common amongst explorers, amongst law enforcement that is used. Again, if you guys have any more pens that are gel that work just like the G2, or you guys just want to tell me, oh yeah, I use this pen, give this a try. Uh, let me know in the comments and I will check it out. But again, writing notes, taking notes before a scenario is, is very important. My advisors expect it of us. And when we do um, inspections, they make sure that we have a pen and they make sure we have a whip out pad or a memo book or whatever you guys call it. So it is a part of our uniform and they make us do push-ups if we don't have them. Because... Just like what Officer Taylor says to me all the time, you cannot be a cop unless you have a pen. Um, that's his famous line, and, and he's absolutely right. So always have a pen on you while in uniform. It is a must, and that's the best advice that I can give you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys uh, realize how much pens are an importance to explorers. And I'll see you guys next time.